Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I'll be showing you guys how to install Jenkins onto an AWS EC2 instance. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I am a junior cloud and DevOps engineer. Um, I created my YouTube channel to uh, document my projects and uh, give back to you know the tech community. So without further ado, without wasting time, let's get right into it. So Jenkins is a software tool that is used by cloud and DevOps engineers to build, test, and deploy uh, applications. Um, it is known as a continuous delivery and continuous deployment tool, um, also known as CICD. And um, today is just going to be a quick project. I'm just going to show you guys how to create it and... Um, how to deploy it into the cloud, specifically AWS cloud, and uh, take it from there. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. So as you can see here on my screen, I am in my AWS console, specifically the instance console. Um, I have my instance created. Um, if you guys need help on how to create an EC2 instance, check out my first video. I will have that in the description or you know, click them up above. Um, so. The first thing, the first thing we want to do to get uh, Jenkins up and running, we want to create an EC2 instance such as here. Um, it'll be running an Ubuntu image. So um, once you have that spin up, connect to it via SSH, which means Secure Shell Host. In plain terms, it means that you'll be able to connect to your instance remotely using your local machine. AKA your computer. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna connect directly to the instance and um, take it from there. It's up to you. But again, if you need help with all this, check out my first video on how to launch an EC2 instance. It is the very first one and it will give you all the information you need. So to begin, I'm gonna hit connect. Ubuntu, connect. And then after a minute, we should be we should have our instance loaded up. And here we go. Welcome to Ubuntu. And this is the screen that you should see once you connect to it. If you're having issues connected to your instance, check your security group. It could be um, you don't have one of the ports, ports 22 um, connected or anything else uh, not configured correctly. So if you see this window here, you're good to go. So without further ado, Let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to update our Ubuntu packages. Make sure that we're running the latest version. So the first command I'm going to run is sudo apt get update. Pretty much it's going to give us uh, administrative access to uh, update our system. So there we go packages look like they are successfully installing give it a minute here and it should load up all right there we go done once you see this right here that lets us know our Ubuntu is up to date and then uh, what we're gonna do now is Jenkins uh, runs on Java so before we can officially install Jenkins onto our instance, we need to install the Java development kit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this command, sudo app, get install open JDK, dash, no JDK 11, dash Java, no, JDK. So this command, is going to install the Java development kit, and this is what we need in order for Java to the Java server to be able to run on and uh, work properly. So, there we go. Oh, did I enter this wrong? sudo apt install open jdk 11 jdk. Okay, sorry about that. Typo. There we go. 
and we should not have any more issues okay you're gonna be greeted with a prompt answer yes I mean why for yes hit enter and give it a minute Now, you can use any version of Java uh, for this project. Um, when I initially started working on this project, um, version 11 was what I was uh, introduced to, but I believe that there is versions 18 and maybe 19 at the time of this recording, but again, it's 100% up to you. Um, once everything is done installation, installing, you should see this. And let's verify the version we have. Okay, Java dash version. This command will check your system, your instance, and see if there's any Java uh, installed on your computer. And if you see this JDK version, that tells us that we have Java officially successfully installed on our uh, system. So this is a good sign. Okay. And now we are going to start the process of <coughs> installing Java. So this code that I'm about to paste down, um, this was pulled directly from the Jenkins uh, repo repository on GitHub. And it's going to pull the Java server and there we go. And then now we're going to update our system. Let's clear our screen. sudo apt get update. All right, cool. And then now we're going to install Jenkins onto our instance. We're going to be greeted with another prompt. Hit yes. Give that a minute. Okay, everything looks good. You can see here on the command line, looking at the status, you can see the packages that it is installing. Give that a minute, any minute now, it should be ready. <clears throat> any minute now. Okay, everything looks all good. Okay, now that we have ran the command to install Jenkins, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a few more commands uh, just to verify that everything is uh, on there. So the first things we're gonna do is we are going to start the service system CTL start Jenkins service. This command is going to start our uh, Jenkins uh, server. Oh, did I run the wrong command? Pseudo STM. Oh, no. Star Jenkins. Oh, that's what it is. I forgot the period. Okay. Pseudo system. No status Jenkins okay and this command is gonna verify that Jenkins is installed and then give us the status update on that all right there we go so if you see this green 
uh, active uh, running uh, donation right here that lets us know that our Jenkins server is officially installed on our system. All right, so I'm gonna exit out of that. And then now <clears throat> we're gonna open up our, uh, we're gonna open up and edit our Ubuntu firewall settings. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have port 8080 open up. Um, this is to allow uh, our Jenkins server to run on this port and allow us to actually be able to interact with the server. So <clears throat> we're gonna run a few commands. The first one, sudo ufw allow 80, 80. And what this does is it's going to open up our uh, Ubuntu firewall and open up this port. Rules updated, v6, and then sudo ufw status oh wait did i write this right sudo ufo enable command may disrupt existing ssh connections procedure of operation you want to hit y firewall is active okay let's clear our screen sudo ufw status and there we go Pretty much what this summarizes is, is letting us know that port 8080 is open up and we can receive traffic from anywhere. So that's for this project, that's what we want. And now, now that we have Jenkins officially installed, we have opened up the right port. Um, we're gonna now test our um, IP address of our instance. So head over to the instance tab And then copy the public IP address right here. And then paste that into your browser. And don't forget, you want to put colon 8080 and hit enter. And voila. We are officially <laughs> one step closer to having a fully operational Jenkins server. So if you see this page, congrats, we did it. This is a, this is an success window right here. So now what we wanna do is, back in our instance console, <clears throat> we are going to get the administrative password and enter that in. And how we do that is, you're going to tell the system to print out our password, such as such. Copy this password. And head back to our web page. Paste that into the password uh, box. Hit continue. Um, we're gonna be met with the uh, customized page, and pretty much, uh, we can we can have we have two choices: one to install the Jenkins plugins, the recommended, or select any individual ones that we want. <coughs> For the sake of this project, we're just gonna go with the suggested. Double click, and then. Oh, where did everything go? Oh, there we go. So we're gonna let this run through. It's gonna install everything that we need to be able to interact with the server. So give it a minute. Almost there. Alrighty, 
so now that we have um, our Jenkins server set up, we're going to create our first uh, dummy admin user and <clears throat> take it from there. So we're going to go with admin password. Uh, let's choose password. Reconfirm the password. Admin for the full name. Admin at admin.com and then we're going to save and continue and then we'll be met with the instance configuration page and essentially it's going to give us the choice to customize our Jenkins URL or leave it as is and um, for the sake of this project, I'm just going to leave it as is. You know, as you can see, our URL matches our instance URL. So uh, that is a good sign. So hit save and finish. And now we're pretty much ready to use our Jenkins server. So hit start using Jenkins. And there we go. Success. If you see this page, then you have successfully um, installed Jenkins onto an EC2 instance. And now you are now ready to build and deploy applications using the service. So, again, that was a quick rundown, a quick project on Jenkins and uh, working with AWS Cloud. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this short um, tutorial. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, any feedback, um, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments down below. Um, so I'm ready to bring you guys value and improve with each and every video. So um, I thank you guys for stay, staying and tuning in. I appreciate the support. And as always, I will continue to get better at these videos and uh, bring more value to you guys. So. With that being said, um, have a good one.